Good morning, Karen. Good morning, Joe. You ready to do this? I am. Let's go. Let's do this. Woo! Yeah, 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 yeah. Good morning, Ray. You're holding door for us. Thank you. Hey, let's, Ray. Let's get the show started. Let's go. Hi, I'm Karen. And I'm Joe. And welcome to What's, What's Happening? Happenin'? Today we're going to share a free solution for printing from your iPad. Yeah, so we're going to show you this free app that one of our buddies shared with us. Uh, it's called Netgear uh, Genie, and it's a free download, free option to, so you can be able to print from any iPad to a particular computer that has a printer. And the one thing I want to just kind of specify here, I know a lot of people are looking for apps in the Apple App Store so that they can go ahead and download that and begin to print. This is something totally different, um, an actual application that you download onto your computer so that you can air print from your iPad to whatever um, printer is connected to your computer. Okay. Before we download anything, I want to, I want to point out something that's very important on your, on your uh, before the setup, right? Is that you know, every time you pr um, install a printer, a lot of times people are real lazy and they just install it and say if it's an HP or it's a, a, a Brother or a Dell, they leave that name alone, LaserJet, can have a K, this or LaserJet, whatever. And so that doesn't, you know, it doesn't really help us much. So I'm going to show you, it's really important to rename it to where it makes sense, like where it's located, the name of the teacher or whatever. Okay, so the first thing you got to do is on your computer and oh, I'm showing right, yeah, cool. So on your computer, I go to the bottom left-hand corner, click on it, and then I go to where it says on the right side, you'll see where it says devices and printers, okay? So this is real important. I click on it. Doo -doo 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 -doo, one of these days. And the reason, again, oh. you want to do this if you're working at a school or a business is if, that are, there, if there are multiple people sharing printers, there's a lot, I mean, you're not going to know which printer you're printing to. You'll be looking around the office or the school for that one document. And you notice Karen right now, she's got a, she's got a really good setup. She's got them named properly. So when she's at a different campus, she'll see, well, I'm going to print out Fannin. I'm going to print in Chris's office. She's done a good, really good job. But right now, the printer that's, there's one here, the TV studio, you see, it doesn't have a, a it's right here, it's the default. This, the one right here, I just highlighted. So if I do a right click on it, I'm going to go to properties. And I think that was the wrong place to go. <laughs> it was the wrong property. Hold on. Right click, right? Printer properties. That's where it's supposed to go. By the way, I'm used to my Mac, so I'm out of my element with this HP. Ay, caramba. <laughs> okay, so right here, see the name? It says HP Universal. So if someone in, on, in the building wants to print to this printer, they won't know where it's going. So the best thing to do is to rename this. So I'm going to call this one TV Studio color printer. Just what I needed, a color printer. Yay! Right. See? I'm it's hooking like, up uh, Karen over here. Like Christmas. <laughs> so I'm going to click on OK, right? So now, see, if you see on the list, you see that it says TV Studio Color Printer. So we know what printer it is. Muy importante. You got to do this before anything else, OK? So that's part one. Now part two is to go to the internet. And so down on the, on the bottom left, you should have that Firefox. Uh, I'm using Firefox, okay, because I know this is one of the browsers that everyone should have on their computers. And it's one browser that can be easily um, updated. You can just go to firefox.com and download the latest update, uh, update. That way, we all will be on the same page. Because if you go to the Internet Explorer, they're all different on every computer. They're all different. Uh, Firefox will be always the same if you download the latest update. So go to that one. And most of you guys will get to this website. It says uh, uh, EPISD, right? But on the upper right-hand corner, you see where it says Google. And just so we can all be on the same page, I know some of you guys prefer Yahoo. Some of you, prefer, you guys prefer Bing and Amazon or whatever. Just for this, just select Google so we're speaking the same language, OK? So under the little box, I know I'm hugging the show. Sorry, Karen. <laughs> and so under Google, uh, type in Netgear. Genie, and it's it's typed the way it sounds. Okay, Netgear Genie, got it? Okay, good. I'm gonna hit enter. And what's cool about Google? The first hit right there, that's it. That's the Netgear Genie. So I click on it, right? This is so simple. Click on it. 
two, 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 and then you see it on the bottom left. You see where it says download on your PC or your Mac. Very nice, okay? So download. And while it's downloading, I just have to point out that, okay, and then I'm going to go ahead. And it, right here, at this point right here, it's just asking you where to save it. What I would do is I would save it somewhere where you can easily find it, okay? If you let the computer decide where it's going to put it, it could put it in any folder, and then you'll be fishing for it. So the best thing to do is if you see on the, on the left side of the, uh, the screen, you see where it says favorites, and that below you see desktop. I would select desktop. That way you'll see it on your desktop, okay? And if you notice, Karen's desktop is nice and clean, right? Thank you, Joe. <laughs> but if you, I've seen other desktops that have icons everywhere, right? So I'm going to hit save. It's fine. So then it's downloading, okay? And all the setup happens only on, on the... Um, on the PC, there's not going to be any setup on the, on, the, on the iPad. It's all here. Okay. Which is why I don't have to do anything. I can sit here with the iPad and let Joe take over. So I'm going to, I'm going to close all my windows now. We're done with the downloading. And I remember I specified that I wanted to download it on the, uh, on the desktop. So you see it on my desktop on the bottom left. So I double click. Okay. Double click on the Netgear icon. And I start doing the install. Do you want to run this file? Glad, okay, yes. So you click run. I'm being all like bilingual Mexican. Um, so I click on I accept the terms. Click on next. Are right. you sure you want to print? <laughs> yes. yes, I do. And then I hit install. And it's going to do this little blah, blah, blah for about a few seconds. It actually does it pretty fast. OK. Next. Do you want to run, run Netgear Genie when you finish? Finish. And the good thing about these videos is that you can always pause it when you do when you're following following along, and then it's going to ask you to allow access. Most definitely, okay. It's so safe. allow access. Okay. At this point, you see a lot of options on the screen. You're like, oh my god, where do I start? Ah! You don't have to worry about any other junk, but the one on the very left where it says Air Print. Okay. So down here, I go down the list. Do 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 and to get to air print. That's where you got to go. Okay, so go to air print. And notice Karen, her laptop, she's got a gazillion printer she prints to, right? So this is the place you go to specify which, which uh, printer you want to share, right? And so whichever printers you check off, if your students have iPads, that's the printer that they're going to see and have access to uh, print to. So I would recommend if you do have that color printer in your classroom, that's the one you don't check off. <laughs> you check off the one that you're okay with your students printing to. What I would recommend is like for a campus use, you know they have those big old high, um, high output uh, printers that they have in the office? Use those. That way they, I mean, cause they can handle uh, large amounts of printing. But anyway. Right here, I'm going to select the TV Studio Color Printer, okay? That's the only one we're going to share with iPads at this moment, okay? And notice, once I, once I click on it, it's automatically sharing now, okay? I don't have to do anything. And one cool thing about Netgear Genie is that I'm going to go and close the window, right? It's still running in the background, okay? If you notice on my system tray, on the bottom right, right here, you see that little icon right here? Woo, right there. You guys see it? Beautiful genie okay, lamp, cool. yes. <laughs> and so well, as long as this genie is there, kids can still print, or anyone can print from iPads to this computer. But if you do a right click on it, you can hit the exit, turn off Netgear Genie, then no one can print. You see it's all printing. Pretty cool deal. Okay. So now I'm going to pass it over to Karen to show you how to print from an iPad. Okay. So first I'm going to go ahead and connect to the computer so you can see my iPad. And since we have a colored printer, let's go ahead and print a photo. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Actually, uh, you're, whatever you want to print, it could be a document that you've written, it could be something off the internet, it could be a photo. For whatever reason, you might need to print in your classroom to share your work. Again, you, you just pick your document, uh -huh. and you would find and navigate to the area in which you can print. In my case, on the iPad, I'm going to go ahead and click the Share button. And I have several options, and one of them is to print. So you've got to locate print in whatever application um, or app you're in. So I'm going to click print, and here it says select printer. 
I'm going to click on Select Printer, and you can see that someone else is sharing their printer, the HP OfficeJet 7300 series. It's not named, so I have no idea where it's going to print to. But the one that was named correctly, TV Studio Color Printer, if I select that, then once I hit the Print button, it'll start printing. You also notice the plus and minus if you want to print several copies or just one copy. And that's it. And that, but I, this one thing I want to I want to make I want to Clarify here too. There's something I want to add to this. Uh, Karen, go and show your um, settings on your iPad, and show that you're on the EPISD Wi-Fi. Okay, this is really important. The iPad and the laptop have to be on the same network. Okay, so for example, that iPad is on the EPISD network, and so is this laptop. So because if you can have multiple networks, right? Some of the iPads and EPISD are on, on the APIs the iPads, mm -hmm. both devices have to be on the same network for it to work. Yeah, that's very important. And if you're at home, if you have one home network, it's got to be on that same network in order to print as well. Okay. And that's it. So yeah. happy printing. <laughs> and thank you for joining us. Hasta la vista.